So we've just seen how we can create a point shapefile, but there are also other features that we can add to a shapefile, and that could be lines or polygons. Just know that there's not only shapefiles. So shapefiles are vectorized data where we've got some vector pointing to some edges of a geometry or a feature of a geometric feature. So in that case, it's just pointing here to the coordinates of a point. If we draw a line, we've got end, start and end points of a line where these points will, uh, where these vectors will point towards. As opposed to raster data files, so that is what our OpenStreetMap and Google satellite imagery are here. So at least here in the, um, as we added is here as XYZ tiles. So tiles are rasters. These are pixel data. So here we have a pixel with a certain size that has a predefined definition and that pixel takes a certain color as a function of what our um, OpenStreetMap or Google Satellite Imagery provides here in terms of data. So note these differences. We have raster data that is pixelized data. Then we have vectorized shape files that could be points, lines, or polygons. If you want to learn more about that, you can also click here again on that website. You can go here on the Python and QJS. You don't need to learn Python for that. Um, but there is a section on geospatial data with some more information about where you can get some geospatial data, how you could vi visualize um, data, and more background information on vector data and raster data. So let's draw a line shape file. For that, we're gonna create again a new layer. We're gonna create a shape file layer. Again, we click here on that little dot 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 button and we see here in our QJS exercise folder lives already the file gauges.shape and that shape file here, now we're gonna call it centerline. Why do, are we gonna call that centerline? Well, you can guess you're gonna draw the centerline of the river. So that here should then be a line string shapefile. We keep again the EPSG number. And what we want to add here is one text field that should be the river name. So let's add the field to the list and press OK. So now the center line occurs here. So we may want to bring that here to the top, just pull it here to the top in the layers tab. And now we can draw. So what did we need to do here to draw? Right, we need to click here on the toggle editing button. So we need to start editing the shape file. Now we are again here in gauges, just pay attention here, highlight center line and then click editing and now you can add a line feature. So what we can do now here with the line feature is just follow a little bit here the river and uh, draw a line here. So just click somewhere here and it's a little bit hardly visible here. It's a very thin dotted line and just follow here the center line here of the river. Just click a couple of times here uh, don't double click when you make an, an edge here or a node. Uh, just one uh, mouse click is sufficient. And then to finalize, you use the right mouse button. So that one here. Um, well, it's a left hand mouse. <laughs> um, anyways, you know, you need to use your right uh, mouse button here to um, finalize your center line and there you can then enter here a river name and we are at the fields even though here that uh, necker indication here is just uh, a little bit misleading because it's just a regional uh, separator you just see here the background in the background that fields with the correct river name good
So then we can stop editing and save our line.